Uh, Big Wolf here, Taxi Cab TV, Fit for Life, Rise for Less, Fat Man Towing, uh, on and on, inspired the book, um, how to motivate yourself into creating something great, um, a bunch of books, a uh, bunch of businesses. So I'm riding right now in a 2003 Hyundai Sonata um, where um, it's got 89,000 miles, uh, 89,005, so 89,005 miles. Um, I replaced the hood, the bumper, the radiator. Um, it was an accident car, but I'm driving it, good set of tires. But I wanted to touch on was when people buy cars from me, they always, you know, everybody, or as I tell my wife, people are opportunists. They're gonna try to get over on you if they can. They're gonna try to figure out how they can hustle you. No matter, I sell good cars. I buy good cars, I fix them up, and I sell them, right? So a young lady, I'm telling you, a young lady contacted me. She bought a car for me for, I think, $1,600. It was a 2005 Orange Cavalier, and it had 100 and, I think, 14,000 miles, and the AC worked everything. She called me three weeks later and said, uh, yeah, uh, the transmission's slipping in the car. I'm like, ma'am, we drove the car. I drove that car for two or three weeks when I had it. And the transmission never slipped. She was like, well, I'm getting my lawyer to sue you because you sold me a, a car with a bad transmission. I said, ma'am, you get your lawyer to do whatever you want, but I know what I sold you. So lo and behold, today, when I'm by my shop, who do I see driving the car but her? The other day when I passed by her job, who do I see in the car but her? So you mean to tell me if the transmission was blown like you said, the neck, I wouldn't see you the next day. I wouldn't see you anytime. Why? Because the transmission was supposedly blown. But people don't realize we live in the same city. I'm going to see you whether it's inadvertently or, in, in, or, 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 or meant to be. You see what I'm saying? So I see people. Somebody else called me. Same thing. Three, four weeks later. Hey, uh, you sold me a car with a bad transmission. Look, man, we test drove the car. You took the car to your mechanic. Your mechanic said it was a good car. I, I can't guarantee a car that three weeks later you might drive the car in third gear for all I know all I know is when the car left it was running it was driving AC was ice cold but people don't appreciate that people don't appreciate good cars yeah I'm driving and I'm recording but uh, people don't appreciate when you sell them good cars and, and you honest with them and let them know hey like for instance this car I'm driving right now it don't have no AC See, I just I just see a car that I just sold. Look at that boy. I'm selling up Charleston faster than people could put on their drawers. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm saying is, it, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna try to get over on you. And and what most people come back and say, they say, well, I don't want um, you to get the car back. I just want some of my money back. When somebody tell you they want some of their money back, they just either mad because they overspent on other stuff and they trying to hustle you or they trying to um, figure out how they can get some money from somebody because now they falling short. That doesn't mean that I did something wrong, that my dealership did anything wrong, but I just wanted to, to drop this video to let y'all know that I don't warranty cars, I don't, uh, uh, cars are as is. You can, you can take, I tell you, you can take it to a mechanic, you can drive it, we can drive it, you can turn on the air, you can do everything you need to do to figure out if you want that vehicle. Guess what? If you don't want the vehicle, it's, it doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm turning, so let me go. Wow. Uh, yep, I just turned. Okay, if you don't want the vehicle, it doesn't matter to me. If you don't want it, somebody else going to want it. Because I sell, I've been selling cars for years. I, I ain't just doing this just because, I, you know, it's something to do. I do this because I love to do it. I've been selling stuff since I was a kid. My mama used to tell me, man, you got problems with selling stuff. I used to sell everything. If I would buy speakers from one person for $50 and I would turn around and sell those same speakers for $60 to somebody else just to make a $10 profit. I, I've been cutting grass since I was six. I was raking yards since Hurricane Hugo in 89. You see what I'm saying? I've been doing this for a long time. Selling, uh, hustling, doing what I can. Hustling the legal way. I don't do no illegal hustling, but hustling the legal way. I got a car lot. I'm pulling up at the car lot right now. So um, I'm, I'm maneuvering my way back into the lot. Had to go pick up my son for uh, from work, trying to teach him a little bit of responsibility, and um, so yeah, so you know what I'm saying. So you gotta figure out 